You can still see tire marks in the ground leading straight up to this now boarded up townhome on the north side where a man crashed his car after being shot. It had just gotten dark on Kenworthy Drive when it was relit by flashing lights. If someone get a taste, please, this is going to be a homicide scene. In general, uh, my experience is that I don't recall very many runs uh, at all here. It used to be really quiet over here, but the neighborhood is changed. Amara Rakai's door directly faces the scene, though her ring camera didn't catch what happened. Around 740, roughly 15 minutes before police were notified, the camera records this footage, showing nothing out of the ordinary. It doesn't record again for half an hour, but within that time were the shooting, the crash, and the start of the investigation. I don't know what was behind it, and I don't want to be the next victim or anybody else. I don't feel safe. I, I mean, I don't feel safe. IMPD says they're working hard to fill in the blank, unsure whether there were any witnesses. Detectives believe the shooting happened in the complex parking lot, adding nobody else was hurt when the car hit the building. Honestly, I heard the loud boom last night. I thought it was the thunder because it started raining. It was jarring enough to make Rakaya worry what the future holds for her neighborhood, not wanting to stick around to find out. They're, you know, they're dropping like flies around here and that, that worries me. Just as a mother, there's a lot going on in this city. The crime is out of control and I just want everybody, you know, to be safe. At last check, IMPD hadn't made any arrests in this case. So as always, they're asking anyone with information to reach out. On the north side, Scarlett O'Hara, CBS 4 News.